Assalamualaikum and very good morning to today's panel, Madam Sakinah Binti Muhammad Alaudin. I am going to present my poster of research project titled A Review of Green Synthesis of Titanium Dioxide Nanoparticles and Their Application. My name is Azian Binti Abu Bakar and this research is supervised by Dr. Lee Ming Pei. So, let us proceed with the presentation. CiO2 is a solid inorganic substance which is a white color metal oxide. It can be synthesized using green synthesized method. Green synthesized provide low cost with high yield production and easy processing steps. This review focuses on synthesis of TiO2 nanoparticles using various plant extracts such as leaves, peels, and seeds. The, the TiO2 nanoparticles characterized using a few technique which is uh, X-ray diprotometer, XRD, Fourier transform infrared spectrometer, FTIR, scanning electron microscopy, SEM, and UV visible spectrometer, UVVIS. The results of various studies have proven that the green synthesis of TiO2 in anatase phase with spherical and crystalline shape. The interesting properties of TiO2 nanoparticles lead them to be exploited in many applications. We have two objectives of this review. The first one is to review the green synthesis titanium oxide TiO2 nanoparticles and the second one is to review the applications of green synthesis of TiO2 nanoparticles in various fields. For problem statement, there are many ways that are available to synthesize the TiO2 nanoparticles such as physical and chemical synthesis methods. For example, sodium method, copies precipitation, hydrothermal, chemical vapor deposition, and microwave assisted. However, this method imply high cost, use many chemicals that can harm the environment as well as high energy consumptions. In contrast, alternative green synthesis method provide low cost with simple processing step. The usage of plant extract in green synthesis of TiO2 nanoparticles such as leaves, peels, and seeds are more eco-friendly and abundantly available. The exciting properties of green synthesis of TiO2 nanoparticles can be used in wide range applications. For scope of research, this review dig into or focus on green synthesis of titanium oxide nanoparticles using various plant extracts due to the capping or reducing agent that contains in the plant extract. The characterization of TiO2 nanoparticles were identified using various characterization techniques to study its analytical, structural, and also morphology. This review also identified various applications of TiO2 nanoparticles, especially in environmental fields. For example, TiO2 nanoparticles can synthesize using plant leaf such as Jetopracucus leaf, aloe vera leaf, cesium tumini leaf, carantaris rosus leaf, and also cesium guava leaf. For fruit peels, we can use orange fruit and pomegranate fruit. Furthermore, plant seeds that can be used to synthesize TiO2 nanoparticles are Chuchur Vita pepper seed and Visa Orellana seeds. Next, for methodology, there will be two protocols. The first one is to prepare the plant extract and the second one is the synthesized part to obtain the TiO2 nanoparticles. Okay, first, we take a look on how to prepare the plant extract. The leaves were cut into smaller pieces and let it dry. Subsequently, 20 grams of plant-based biomaterials were mixed with 100 ml of deionized water and boiled for 40 minutes at 80 degrees Celsius to obtain the extract. And then, the extract was then filtered to separate the plant-based material with the solution. Finally, the plant extract was stored for the next step of green synthesis of TiO2 nanoparticles. And then we move on to the synthesis part. ATML of plant extract were mixed with ATML of precursors such as TiCl4. The solution was stirred continu continuously for about 4 hours at room temperature as shown in the figure. At this process, the nanoparticles were formed as the color changed from, from transparent to whitish brown. This happened because the plant-based material acts as the reducing agent. When the plant extract mixed with the precursor, it reduced the metallic ions. Next, the nanoparticles were filtered to separate the nanoparticles and the solution. The obtained nanoparticles then will be dry and consigned for 4 hours at 500 degrees Celsius to obtain the anatase and glutal phase of TiO2 nanoparticles. 
the TiO2 nanoparticles then grade using Mostar pestle to obtain the final powder form of TiO2 nanoparticles as shown in the figure. Table 1 shows the size of titanium oxide nanoparticle synthesis using various plant extracts. The first one, a study by Pratap et al. focusing on green synthesis using Jatopra kukas leaf extract to synthesis the TiO2 nanoparticles. Jotopra kukas leaf can be obtained easily as the plants are abundantly available which make it low cost. The nanoparticles were at 13 nm. Jotopra kukas leaf contain phytochemical properties such as polyphenol, flavonoid, antioxidant, free amino acids and more which help to lead the leaf as reducing agent. Another study by Rao et al. using the oldest herbal medical plant leaf which is aloe vera. The size of nanoparticles were reported at 20 NM is shown in the table 1. Essentially, the bioreduction and stabilization process of TiO2 nanoparticles were due to the functional substance that exists in the plant extract. For example, tannin, citric acid, silic peptides, and gallic acids. Cesium chumini leaf were reported by Seti et al. as one of possible stabilizing agents in synthesizing TiO2 nanoparticles. Table 1 shows the XRD analysis indicate a 10 nm of size of TiO2 nanoparticles. The successful processes of synthesizing TiO2 nanoparticles were due to the presence of hydroxyl group in the leaf extracts such as CO, stretching alcohol, carboxylic acid, ester, and ethers. Another plant leaf also reported by Santosh Kumar et al. where cedium guava were used to synthesize the TiO2 nanoparticles. The study indicate a 32.58 nm of particle size with a smooth, crystalline, and spherical shape of the morphology. The leaf extract contains phenolic compounds which help as a reducing agent in the synthesis process. Several studies have been focusing on the usage of fruit peels to synthesis nanoparticles such as orange peels and promeganate peels. Essentially, orange peels accommodate citric acid which act as capping agent. The result the study resulted in successful formation of TiO2 nanoparticles with average crystallized size of 19 nm in tetragonal structure as shown in the table 1. Next, the usage of aqueous fruit peel extract from manganese and were found out in a nano size at 75 to 90 nm in crystallized shape. The particle size of titanium tetraisoprophyte reduced to nano size due to the contents in the pomegranate peel speci specifically phenolic and acidic content. Lastly, other plant seeds were reported by Maria et al. as reducing agents such as Biza or Elana seed. The studies also shown formation of the IO2 nanoparticles at 13 nm size using XRD analysis as shown in figure in table 1. The reducing agent in the seed reduced the particle size to nano size as proven that the seed is rich in bioactive compound namely polyphenols, carboxyl, lipids, vitamins, and also proteins. The exciting properties of green synthesis TiO2 nanoparticles lead it to use in various applications in environmental. The first one in organic molecule degradation, where TiO2 nanoparticles were found in wastewater industry, where it removed toxic compound in wastewater. The next one is photocatalytic oxidation or PCO. It degrades the organic pollutants in wastewater. The second application was in dye. Photocatalytic activity of TiO2 nanoparticles were observed where it degrades dye. And then, photocatalytic degradation of dye under UV lights, it can degrade organic dye. In conclusion, the review highlighted the recent progress of green synthesis of TiO2 nanoparticles and the applications of the nanoparticles in environmental field. The green synthesis via various plant parts giving benefits in terms of environmental and yet a simple process with less cost. The properties in the plant part itself made them powerful nanoparticles in environmental applications. Okay, that's all for my presentation of my research project, a review of green synthesis of titanium dioxide nanoparticles and their applications. Thank you for taking interest and we see you in another time. Thank you.